Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I have the August Hedgehog Hollow Kit here that I want to share with you and then I'm going to make a couple of cards. So first thing in this kit is this stamp set. It's got a really great background stamp and one that says welcome fall with those leaves, so pretty. And then this stamp that says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes, leaves are falling, August is calling happy fall harvest blessings hello fall let the leaves fall and lots of cute images and look at that truck with the pumpkins in the back i love it then you also get this beautiful stencil set this is a layering stencil and it's beautiful it's an apple with um leaves and a branch and i'm going to use that today and just show you how that one works and then you also get this other layering stencil by the way, I love layering stencils. They are coming out with more and more and they are awesome. So this one is a fall leaves layering stencil and you get the leaves and then some acorns and then the tops of the acorns and a separate one. And so you can do all kinds of things with that, different colors, you can do fall colors if you want. And I'm gonna use that one today too. So I'm, I wanna show you how these stencils work today. Then you get this whole kit of ephemera Lots of really great images in this ephemera kit. Perfect for fall. And also there's some florals that have some happy colors. Lots of sentiments that are perfect for the cards that we're gonna make today. So I will be using some of these as well in our cards. And it's so fun to have a whole pack of ephemera with a lot of different things that you can create all kinds of cards with. So there's a lot of cards that can be made with this kit. Look at these beautiful cups. I love those. Fall and some more flowers. I love the thankful. Look at this thankful. Very cute. And plenty and plenty of sentiments. So lots to do with this set. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, cards with that ephemera there. So let's put that back away. And the last thing that came in my kit are these envelopes. These are the Snow Flurry envelopes. So they have kind of a glossy sheen to them. And the thing I like about them is they come with the pre-stuck envelope flap. So you don't have to lick it or paint it with your water brush. <laughs> I don't lick envelopes anymore. I don't know about you. <laughs> Moving on to the cards. I'm starting out with the layering stencil with the apple and the leaves and I'm going to use some light brown and then go in with some vintage photo to give it a little more contrast and that there's our our branch and then I'm going to add the leaves I'm just simply lining up these stencils with the cardstock behind it they are the same a2 size as a card panel so that's so nice. And I went in with some lime wired at first and then I added some evergreen bow to give it that contrast there as well or some lights and darks. And now I'm gonna go in with some worn lipstick for the apple and then make it a little darker near the bottom with some festive berries. Very simple to do, really easy blending. And you're gonna see, look how cute that looks. But I decided I needed some glitter on that apple. I'm going to clean up a little bit of that ink around the edge and then add a little bit of glitter to the top. So I've got a couple of choices here. I have my stickles. I love this one. It's very, very, very glittery. And then the Nouveau paste also so beautiful. And that one's a little more subtle. So I decided to go with that one today. So I'm just gonna get a little of that out and then spread it over the apple. You, you don't need very much, just a little, because this does react with that ink, so you can see that it all turns red on my spatula, so you definitely don't wanna put it back into the jar. So just to get a little at a time, you don't wanna waste any of that beautiful stuff. Here is what it looks like. You can catch a little bit of that shimmer in the light, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my supplies before I move on to the next card. For this one, I'm gonna use the other layering stencil that comes in the kit, but I always have a hard time lining that up. So I'm going to use this perfect placement tool created by Maker Forte. It is a guide to make sure that you get them in the right place always. 
So it has some lines on it. You can see that mine is well loved. I use this all the time. I'm just gonna put some repositionable adhesive on that layering tool. And then I'm going to line that stencil up with the stencil line. So there is a line there for a six by six stencil. And that way, when you put all your layering stencils in the same spot, lining it up with that line, you're gonna get them in the correct spot every time and you'll get a perfect layered look. So that's what I'm gonna to use today. I'm still using it with my Make Art Station. I love having the magnet so it's very easy to take the stencils on and off. And I'm gonna start with this layer here. I'm gonna use some Distress inks today, just in a yellow and then an orange. The yellow is Wild Honey and the orange is Spiced Marmalade. And I just added the orange on kind of the bottom side of the each of the images. So not the whole thing, just adding some shading. Now I lined up that second layer as well. I'm gonna start with some antique linen and then move in with some rusty hinge for this layer. And this layer has some leaves and the tops of the acorns there. Look at what fun colors these are together. So definitely some fall colors. And now I'm gonna bring some greens in because I really wanted the, the greens to add to this. So I'm using forest moss and peeled paint. Just adding those again with some shading with the darkest color just on parts of it. And I think that really brings out these stencils. Very, very pretty stencils. Well, there you go, just a little bit left there. And here I'm gonna show you the results from all of this ink blending and look at those layers. Really pretty, but I did decide that I wanted to add a little texture to the leaves and the tops of the acorns. So I'm gonna put that stencil right back on, lining it up, and I'm gonna add a little bit of some plaid to each of those. So I'm taking the same rusty hinge color and just adding a little plaid. So that gives some texture and some more design to these images. It's a really, really fun thing to do. So this is just a plaid stencil from my stash. And if I can find it, I will link it, but I'm sure you have some kind of stencil you can use for a layer to give it that look. Let's put this card together now. I'm going to use a few of those pieces of ephemera. I almost added that, that yellow flower, but I decided the hearts were just gonna be plenty. I'm taking some glitter tape to the bottom. So this is gold glitter tape. Just adding a little bit, a touch of of glitter you know I can't resist <laughs> and then I'll snap off the rest of the overhanging glitter tape there and then for this thankful ephemera I'm going to trim off the white edges I just wanted that orange to peek through so I'm gonna glue that on and glue the whole thing to a card base here I've already glued on that ephemera too just using my liquid adhesive and I popped up the thankful now it needed something, so of course I brought out my gems from Maker Forte. This is the color Phoenix, which is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful orange fall color, just the right amount of shine. And I'm just gonna add those in between all of those layered images. And that's going to really make this card pop. I'm using my magic wand to place those gems. This magic wand has a Kind of a pokey tool on one side so see you can get rid of some of that excess glue and then it's got that gem picker on the other side so it's a beautiful tool there are lids for this tool but i always leave the lids off going back to my apple stencil that i did on this panel i'm going to add some darker shades of green so we're going in with some of this rustic wilderness and i'm going all around the sides with my blender pen. Now these are oxides. Did I say pen? I meant blending brush. These are oxides, so I have my own blending brushes just for oxides. They're these white ones, and I will link them below because they're by far my favorite for my oxide inks, and that's what I'm gonna use for these today. So I'm using that same stencil over the top to get some texture and some design to the background as well just kind of going around that stenciled apple. By the way, this apple is completely dry. All that glitter is dry. I've got the happy fall in the green from the ephemera and I'm gonna add a few of these 
Celtic green gems to this one. And I like to add them sometimes in like little clusters of three. So it kind of gives you the idea that that's just like, there's like a little fruit growing there. Then I'll add some at the ends of each of those branches that are kind of like loner branches there. That's going to be our happy fall card. So I'm going to glue all of this down again, just the same way using that magic wand tool. I glued down the happy fall and I do wish that my branch was a little bit lower on this card, but I think it works out okay with those designs around the edge. And I'm just going to ink up the edge of this card as well with my blender brush. It has a little left of the green ink there. And there's our cards for today using some ephemera and the layering stencils. And look at all this that we still have left. Of course, I have not even used those stamp sets. We haven't even started with the stamp sets. And so of course you have all that ephemera, you have all these layering stencils you can use over and over. So many more things to do with this kit. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the August Hedgehog Hollow kit today. And I hope you also enjoyed the process video of putting together these cards using only the stencils and ephemera from the kit and adding just a few little gems. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out with YouTube. And I hope you'll subscribe to the channel so that I'll see you again next time. I'll be back soon with more card making inspiration. Let me know which one of these is your favorite and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.